Guys, thanks for being here. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Minister John Stryker, Mayor Dan Curtis, and myself, the Director of Emergency Measures, Dermot O'Donovan. We're here to talk to you about emergency preparedness because this is on the for uh, forefront of everybody's minds as we move into yet another wildland fire season. Are we ready ourselves to look after ourselves and our families? So with that, we want to show you what an, an emergency preparedness kit looks like. What do you guys see? I have tons of stuff here. Uh, I, I, on this side, we've got the kit itself. We got a little bit of cash. Uh, we've got some medications, extra glasses, first aid kit, some ID. Your Worship? You know what I see? I see a camping kit. I see most of the stuff I already have at home, which is pretty cool. And quite frankly, I'm uh, a little bit embarrassed that I'm not really aware of what I should pack for 72 hours. But looking at this, I'm less intimidated because I don't think I have to <clears throat> go to the store and start buying kits. Looks like I have a lot of the stuff already in my house and in my garage. So a couple of key things that we should probably point out here. Um, your emergency plan is something that uh, is very straightforward to make. Every household should have their own emergency plan. If you go to yukon.ca and click on the emergencies tab, you'll find all the information you need there for the emergency plan for your family and uh, indications of what you can do for your neighborhood. At the same time, this pamphlet that was mailed out uh, a couple of years ago and will be redistributed this year has all the same details, everything that's needed for your emergency kit and your emergency plan. 